Hello, friendos. Uh, welcome back to chapter seven of Doki Doki Literature Club. I hope you enjoy these next 30 minutes with me as we go towards the next task with Yuri and then, and then the festival starts. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, get some food and come chill with me for these 30 minutes, all right? Let's get to the game. Let's go, baby. Alrighty. And by the way, in view of discretion and advice for all of the upcoming chapters, as it is going to get a lot darker from here on. So you have been warned, okay? Okay. Mm. All right. Here we go. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. What do you have in mind? Let me create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's that's right. One of those items you had me asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put in each of the tablets. In. Be my fetch your nose for us. Oh, that was no, that was Jerry. My bad. <coughs> hmm. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill up the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Yuri, taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use a small plastic bathroom cup rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that dripped, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Uh, yeah? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colours for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. Uh, what are you going to write? Uh, well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. <laughs> Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colours across the banner to serve as a colour guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolours feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. I'm sorry, this feels too childish. No, I... I didn't mean it like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't want to. I just like when I can spend time with one person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I know you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. I'm, s I'm sorry. Yuri wheels back, and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Uh, are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. I, it just started me, that's all. Sorry, I should let you get it for me. No, it's not your fault. Uh, your, your face. The droplets of paint on your face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I, I, I accidentally got paint on you. 
I'm so sorry. It's, it's, it's on my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel and then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Mm, sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Mm -hmm. Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, um... I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize in when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thought. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's little fingers wrap around my wrists and a tingling sensation through my arm and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago <laughs> Yuri slowly pulls away it's okay. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today I didn't mean to space out it, it, it's fine the moment is over as soon as it began Yuri picks up her brush again but her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus I remained silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieved my own brush and continued following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy that with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but will that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. <laughs> He said like he got it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's not that. It, I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, so you don't have any time left? I was sickly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well, <laughs> I think... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm, I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Uh, it's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. Uh, the important thing is we got everything done, right? Uh, yeah. So, you shouldn't be disappointed. Is there anything? Gathering all the things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's only like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But well, that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once she packs up, I walk her to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I would. That is able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need need to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Three fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, wait. I've said that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Um, whenever you want to, you can come over and we can, or we can go somewhere. Uh, uh, I forgot you don't like going out too much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. <coughs> anyway, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Sainz. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I respond? How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to. As Yuri suddenly pulls me back. So, so Yuri. Yeah. Uh, I 
Thanks, guys. Sayori. Just now, we, we, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Sayori. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh, mm. It's nice to see you. I'm rebel. I'm already on my way to leave. Uh, oh, re really? That's bad. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll, be, we'll all be together at Festival tomorrow, so. So that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Y y yes. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Totally embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sorry, he waves goodbye. Yeah, so, uh, Sa Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried to stay in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What you were talking about? Y you know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close she got to her. It makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That, that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? Tears? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be much better if, if I could just disappear. Say I don't say it like It's too sad. If I wasn't here then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with being selfish. Mon Monica was right. I should just Monica. Monica was right about what? Sayori. <laughs> what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sayori looks away. I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I, I'm scared, Sayori. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Thanks. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... and That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down to his arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, I already nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Sayori, I love you. Eh? <laughs> Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Sayori's. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Sayori's, is this really okay? Yeah. I got Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll now have to let go of me again. I, I love you, Sayori's. I want to be with you forever. <laughs> me too. Mm -hmm. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori. I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Sayori. 
It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better right now. No matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Mm-hmm. What, what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even with, even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, okay, besides? So he gazed at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me. Right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should really be doing something more or something different. I know those thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But what I know is that I've got to get. I'll get everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted to dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But no, Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Thanks! In the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones well, they must be the ones she prepared. They'll have all the poems for their performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sari with you. Yeah, she always slept again. That's on me. <laughs> you think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sawyer told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take more responsibility for her size. I mean, especially after you exchanged with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Want to know about that? Of course I do. I'm a cool present after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Does Harry really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. <laughs> you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Yeah? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came up really nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. I got one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yeah, and they... They did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page. You're in an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's, what's this? I flipped 
to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. 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 I do. I do know what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem was never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading this poem, I get a pit in my stomach. What's this? What's, what's wrong? Nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything so always written. But more than that, I, I, ch I changed my mind. I'm going, I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I'll quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. I'm going to call out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking to her to school makes her feel ha really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they've always been. That's all she needs and that's what I want to give. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. I got it. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I end up doing this after all. Waking up in her own house. Not really something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. I was saying, so you zoom my knock on her door. Sayori, wake up. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter the room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But it really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Whoa. To be, this isn't the real. Why this can be real? I really wouldn't do that. If there was no one missing a few days ago, that's why I can feel it in my eyes showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. But she just said, I told Sarah I'll be there for her. I told her I know it was best and everything would be okay. Then what? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I could not confess to her. That's not what Sarah needed at all. She even told me how hard and painful it is for others to care about her. Why did I confess that? And I could feel even worse. Why was it so selfish? <laughs> My fault. I swear your thoughts keep telling me everything. I could have done to prevent this. I had to spend more time with her. Hope to the school. I mean, times with her like I've always been. Then I could have prevented this. I, I know I could have prevented this. To go through the literature club, go through the festival. I just lost my best friend. The one I grew up with. I'm forever now. There's nothing I can do to bring her back. There's some game I can reset and try something different. I had only one turn, and I wasn't careful enough. And then I'll try this girl with me, but until I die, I was thinking my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me, and now, <laughs> and now I can never take it back, never.
Oh boy. Alright, friendos. This episode was a little bit shorter than the others. But, um. Yeah. That was. Seems that image kind of sent like a shockwave down my entire body. Um. Shit. Oh, well, friendos. We'll be back next week. With. Excuse me, with chapter 8. So. Be prepared, okay? Be prepared. Be prepared, and I will see you all again next week. Until then, wherever you are in the world, take care of yourselves, okay? Have a good day, have a good night. Stay awesome. Love you, love you all very much. And I will see you again soon, alright? Take care. Bye, everyone.